Hey y'all, how you doing today? Um, wow. Um, hope you're having better weather than we're having. It's rainy and just drizzly, gray, nasty, yucky weather. However, it is pretty warm. It's like 61 degrees here, so uh, very low 60s, uh, which is pretty weird for us here in East Tennessee. However, I've seen it before. So, um, going over this project right here. We've got these three steel wheels, wagon wheels. Um, let me roll this out here so you can see it. Get a little better. Yeah, see. That's, these are for my daughter's horse trailer. They're 15 by 6 steel wagon wheels. Uh, they started out very rusty, very crusty. Um, the trailer had been sitting under trees for Hey, you like that? You know, do the you know, the, the lip flop like the horses, you know. Okay, you know, what's going to be riding in it. Um, there, uh, the trailer had been sitting for a number of years under some trees. So the trees have been depositing their acid and their all their crap on the wheels and all over the rest of the trailer. The problem is, is that they're called, they've caused a lot of rust and everything else. So we're going to re, we uh, have already stripped these wheels down, sanded, got rid of the rust. Um, I painted that one over there with that one that's black. That's rust inert, uh, primer covering. And that basically makes the, it's made by Rust-Oleum and I'm not sponsored by those folks. So just so you know. But I've also went ahead and I have covered, I have went ahead and I have washed these other, all of these wheels with hot soapy water um, and uh, rinsed them off really good. And now I've got, let's see, that one and that one rinsed off with brake parts cleaner. Now I'm going to rinse off this one with brake parts cleaner and then I'm going to use some lacquer thinner on them and get them cleaned up and get them ready for the rust reformer. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how this works. This is brand new, by the way. I'm usually used to, to uh, Duplicolor makes something similar to that. But we'll see, okay? We'll see, we'll just see how it works. Um, all right, uh, so here we go. My glasses on. Get my brake parts cleaner. Get this one moved because this one's already been cleaned up with the brake parts cleaner. So I've got kind of a process going here. You know, washed all of them with soap and water, dried them off. Uh, hot, hot water. That's something. If you're doing, if you're washing any kind of metal parts, uh, one good tip is use hot water, as hot as you can stand it. Um, maybe even hotter if you can use some gloves or something like that to protect your hands maybe even better the reason why is that the metal will dry off very quickly the water will dry off very quickly and it will help to uh, minimize the flash rusting that will occur um, also if you can get, get after every, all of these parts with a towel or uh, maybe even a blow dryer uh, compressed air anything like that to get the moisture off you know, that will be even better. Now, I'm out here in my garage and there's very little in the way of insulation, so I have to be very cautious out here when I'm doing all of this. So, i uh, got to be very protective of the metal. So, here we go. All right. This one here is just about empty, but get a little bit out of it, what I can anyway. There we go. That one's empty. Oh yeah, this is the the duplicolor. This is the this is what I was using the rust fix. I've used this for years and it's worked really exceptionally well. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored by those those folks either. So, just so you know, you want to try to if you're doing anything like this yourself. You want to try to get off all the dirt, all the moisture, all the oils, 
there's There's oils that uh, get left behind by your fingers, even, and uh, that can contribute to uh, bad situation with uh, the primer not working really well and the paint having problems. The biggest, the biggest part of like doing any kind of of uh, let me rotate this down here so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, see, the biggest part, get the door shut, the biggest part of this is preparation. The more time you spend in preparation, the better the end result is going to be. It's about like anything else. You know, some people say they hate body words or they hate this or whatever, but to me, it's not much different than basically anything else out there so I have plenty of ventilation I've got doors open I've got windows open so you know I've got ventilation in here it's I'm not I don't believe I'm going to be choking so all right next I'm gonna use the lacquer thinner to do some cleaning and use a clean towel, regular old Scott blue shop towels, yes, which is like available at most any auto parts store around. So anyway, here we go. This is a, I started off with a clean towel, okay? So just so y'all know, I didn't start off with like some rag I had laying around on my on my workbench for a week or two. Okay. Yeah, I know the rag's torn up, but you can see all the dirt that's been left behind. And this was after washing with hot soapy water. Now, um, where I was washing at, there's a lot of, 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 uh, little debris left from the washing process so uh, this is not there's when you get done sanding and grinding and all of this stuff there's a lot of, of material left from all of these processes so get this all cleaned up yeah you want to try to get rid of as much dirt and material and just everything that you can get off is everything that's not going to get caught in the paint okay it's not going to get caught by the paint or the primer or anything like that okay so see see that dirt there so that's what i'm talking about all right this wheel is ready for prime for that rust reformer primer which i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to i'm going to not put it on right now i'm going to Going to let's see. I mean, you can see what the finished product is over there. I tell you what, I'm going to wipe this one down really quick. And then that one I just cleaned, I'm going to uh, hit it with the rust preventive. So, new towel. Let's see if I can get the camera to flip it. All right. New clean new towel. So, here we go. All right. Well, it'd be really nice if I had this in like a spray bottle. So I have to work on that when I get some free time. Okay. Here we go. Getting this work done. This is why. Restoration work costs so much money. It costs a lot, you know, getting something restored, especially getting it done by a well-known shop that has a good reputation and is going to do a good, good job. It gets really, really costly. It, be it can become very, very expensive. And uh, that's this is why. 
there's a lot of time involved in all this. So, yeah, see there's, that came off that, that wheel right there. So, that's why this is all so expensive. It's just like, you know, people kind of freak out that it costs so much, but it does. And there's a reason why. Now the back here, the back, I'm going to do this in such a way that I'm just going to paint. My plans are the backs of these wheels are just going to be black. They're going to be simple black, uh, maybe gloss black, maybe flat black, probably gloss. Um, reason why it might shed dirt just maybe a little bit better. But the big thing is, is they're going to have, see what, <laughs> see what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. You know, get the dirt off, man. Get all of that dirt off. You don't want it in your paint. And I, you know, um, in garages everywhere, people will try to paint cars in their garages. Sometimes they do pretty good with it. And sometimes they don't. Now I'm not a body man. All right. I'm not an expert body guy by no stretch of the imagination. I'm just somebody I've seen a lot. I've worked, I've worked around cars for the past 20 years, and I can tell you that when you're doing body work, you've got to be really on top of your game, okay? And you've really got to see to the details. That's really super important, because if you don't, it just doesn't work out real good. You wind up with less than stellar results. And I think that's why there's so many people that hate body work, because... They're expecting these really fantastic results, and they're putting, they're not putting in fantastic effort. They're putting in maybe, you know, they're maybe putting in like 50 cents worth of effort, and they're, you know, they're coming up with 50 cents worth of, worth of results, and they're thinking that they're going to achieve, you know, something a lot, whole lot more. So, you, you see where I'm coming from? So, all right. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna use one of these to pop my hands up. Just the tires rolling around in here, they pick up little bits of trash off the floor. I do all kinds of work in here, so you know, it makes sense. There's gonna be a lot of dirt and stuff on the floor. I mean, the more preparation work you can do, the better the end result's gonna be. It's just as simple as that. Can't make it any simpler. Here we go. I'll take this down so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So here we go. All right. Now you got to be looking. You know, if there's any other little areas that that are you thinking are is something that's going to be a problem for you this is the time you need to be you need to be addressing them now these probably will not look like brand new wheels but they will look a whole lot better a whole lot better and the thing of it is one of my things is, you know, you take what you got, you do the best you can do with it, okay? You do the very best you can do with what you got. And that's what, you know, you try to, it's something I've been trying to impress upon my children, is you take what you got, you do the very best you can do with it. So, with that being said, um... Let's get, let's see. All right, so, roll this one back over here. All right. Time to try to find this stuff here. only a 
applying this in the areas that have experienced a lot, a lot of rust. Experienced any rust. Well, really any rust. I said a lot of rust, but really any rust. So. Now, oftentimes, when you're doing something like this, a project like this, you want to go back and you want to look at stuff that you've already, you know, you've already painted or primed or whatever. So there might be areas you miss. This is the, however, what I like about all of this, what really keeps me going, and doesn't, you know, even though I may come, become discouraged, what keeps me going on a lot of this is that I'm seeing the results of my effort. I mean, I'm seeing the fruits of my labor right before me. So that's pretty nice. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. You know, when you can see, you can take something like these wheels, these tires, or these wheels, anyway. And you can uh, clean them up, sand on them, uh, maybe even do a little grinding, what have you, and get all the rust and the flaky crap off of them. See? Now, of course, yes, there is some white right here. This is just the first step in many steps that is going to come along. Uh, next is going to be, I'm going to be priming. Uh, I've got some self-etching primer that's going to go on these then uh, probably kind of a high build primer. And uh, this is all going to be rattle can stuff. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Okay. I do have a spray gun. I just don't have the money for the paint to put in it. It's right now. So, I work with what I got. Um, the, uh, but yes, some self-etching primer. Then there's going to be there's going to be paint, and how I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, a little spoiler alert, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the outer rim here is going to be silver. The inner portion here is going to be black. This is going to turn out. It's going to turn out really, really well. And, uh, yeah, this inner ring where the spokes are at, uh, that's going to be black. This outer portion here is going to be silver. And then I'm going to have chrome lug nuts here and uh, on there. I think it's going to look, turn out looking really spectacular. I think she's going to be really, really, I think my daughter Savannah is going to be very happy with these. Um, you know, she's been work, helping me work on these a lot. She's been doing a lot of the sanding, grinding, and stuff like that. It's really impressive when you see your children, you know, they, they pick things up and they uh, they uh, go ahead and they start doing stuff, you know, without you telling them stuff like that. They take the initiative. And, uh, you know, um, for those of you out there who do have kids, you know, uh, I know it can become very discouraging sometimes, but you know what? Sometimes they will really surprise you. You know, you put in the effort uh, to be a good parent. You know, they will surprise you from time to time. So let that be a lesson to you, okay? You know, not trying to get Mr. Rogerish on you. Just That's just the way it is, you know. You put in the effort trying to make them a good good person, teach them stuff that's uh, that's good, Spend time with them. Spend quality time with them. Showing them stuff about you. Telling them stuff about you. You know, it just, you know, the big thing is just spend time with them. That's, that's, that's the number one thing. But engage them, you know, engage them in their hobbies and, uh, and uh, get them engaged in your hobbies as well. And this is, this is partial, part, kind of part of my hobby, but it's going to go to benefit her. So, all right, I've got more of these wheels to prime, and then I'm going to go eat, and uh, I'm getting hungry. So I will uh, keep at this, um, and um, maybe tomorrow we'll be putting primer, that etching primer, self-etching primer on these wheels, 
and uh, getting them looking like uh, looking really nice. So uh, when I get the get them all finished up, I will show you the finished product. Okay. All right. I appreciate you all for watching. Thank you very very much. And if you've got any questions, comments, ideas, or anything else, um, you know what have you, just put them down below. I'll do my very best to answer them and get right back to you. Okay. Thank you very much, and uh, y'all have a good one. Oh, and God bless.